Hey guys, Adam of AS Trains. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video. Uh, the train I'm going to be unboxing is this new Lionel Susquehanna Bay Window Caboose. I got this Bay Window Caboose from my local train guy. I paid $30 for it. And I have to say, I, I really like it. I mean, I really do. Um, I have opened it and inspected it, and it looks good so far. I just thought I'd go ahead and put it back in the box and then do the unboxing for you guys. Uh, um, once again, I paid thirty dollars. I if this was if I was somebody else, I probably would have paid like maybe forty dollars or so because uh, these these Lionel Susquehanna cabooses, especially bay, the bay window ones, which I think this is probably the only version Lionel made. But these things are nowadays they're kind of hard to come by. Uh, and they're whenever you do find one, they're pretty expensive. Uh, there's one on eBay that I can remember. It was the guy was selling it for a buy it now, uh, forty five ninety nine. I can't remember the shipping, but it was just too much for me to handle. And so I thought, you know, man, if I could find one of my local train guy, I know he'll ha he'll let me have it for a decent price. And I was right, he let me have it for thirty. Um. This this uh, caboose was made specifically for the Susquehanna Dash 840Bs from Lionel. Uh, the build date on the caboose is 93, which is kind of weird considering that uh, my Dash 840B uh, and probably a lot of the others that they were made in 89. So I don't know what the story is behind that. Maybe it's just this particular one was made in 93, but I bet. But there's probably others that are probably made in previous in earlier years but enough chit chat let's go ahead and uh let me go ahead and unbox this thing you know what um i don't want to can i don't want to uh have to worry about the paperwork so abracadabra oh what's this oh it's the paperwork i'll get to that in a moment Okay, so the way you gotta to get this car off these two flaps, you know, whenever you go to pull the car up, you gotta make sure they're not covering the couplers. But before you even do that, you gotta undo this twine and lift the car up. And there we go. Now I'm gonna have to move the camera real quick. Real quick, um, the paperwork includes a uh, lamp replacement, um, um, I op when I opened it up, it, I saw how to do it, which I didn't have to replace the ball, but I had to resolder wire because it was shorting out on one of the grounding trucks, the grounding parts of the truck. Authorized Lionel service stations from 1992 to 1993. the way they pull these up I can't even oh there we go and last thing is a limited one year warranty card which I already I had void voided the warranty anyway by opening it up and fixing it myself which it doesn't matter because I mean I saw that it was just a minor issue I could easily do it so that's just that's good enough let me pan the camera down there we go okay so uh, I will fire it up and I will run it uh, well not I will just operate the lights um, as you can see in the background, I got the 8020 set on the line, but I pulled the lo the lo the powered locomotive off. But uh, on top, we got some nice riveting. We got some nice detail um, rivets on the outside. Got a catwalk up top, and it's got the what I call the waffle uh, detail. Got this smokestack. Got this little thing right here. This is probably the antenna. On the ends of the cars, we got. Uh, an operating knuckle coupler with uh, the mechanism's a drop plate. We've got a metal brake wheel, metal ladders, and then uh, the this ladder and all that. The um, not the ladder, excuse me. The step detail is um plastic. There's no holes and there's no um, safety tread. The trucks. Uh, I don't know what type of truck this is, but um, I just don't know. What, I don't know what type of truck this is. But it's pretty cool though. It fits this caboose. Well, the original post-war cabooses, which this is what this is based off, the this is pretty much everything it had on. 
we got this uh, little box. This is probably like a toolbox. On the other side, we got this uh, tank, maybe fuel tank, water tank, something like that. Well, I got it flipped over, or not flipped over since I turned it around. Uh, this is all, you're going to find this same detail. On the other side, it says Susquehanna, built uh, by Lionel, 1, 1993. And it says, uh, in, right here in the center, it says, uh, N, uh, NYSWR. R W Y S zero one two one. I don't know. I know N Y stands for New York, and I think S stands for Susquehanna. Maybe New York, Susquehanna, and Western. Maybe not. I don't think that's it because this is an east. This is an eastern railroad. Um, over here, we got some marker lights. We got another one on the other side. There's none on this side, which um, which I think that's nice because this uh, this this marker light over here on the uh, on the one on the other side just goes to show that this end is the end is the official end of the caboose but it could, you could use it either way okay so I'm gonna set it on the track and they get a bit closer oh go ahead if you guys can just give me a moment to power up the power supply and then I'll fire up the lights okay that's full voltage and no flicker, which I think that is very nice. Okay, so let me go ahead and shut down everything. Okay, so um, as you, I just uh, decided to run the lights for you guys. In the centers of the um, of the bay windows themselves, there's a piece of like black construction paper conformed to this uh, sl to a slot in here. I don't know why that is. I didn't want to remove it though, because I mean, it, this the construction paper which it came with this and it was inside, so I thought I'd just leave it there. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video, and I hope you guys enjoyed the little light demonstration. Not that it really mattered, um, but. Uh, Stay tuned for more train videos. That's it for now. I'm Amos Wendell, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to rate, comment, and if you want to, subscribe.